In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, we take a look at Bigtable's monitoring UI to find out our performance edge cases. Will we scale to meet the challenge? Stay tuned to find out. When you're dealing with something at the scale of Bigtable, performance is always on your mind. A Bigtable's ability to handle billion user systems happens almost entirely behind the scenes, where front ends can coordinate, balance, and optimize your access patterns without you having to lift a finger. But even the best systems need a little attention now and then. Thankfully, the monitoring UI is here to help. The Bigtable UI in the Cloud Console has a built-in monitoring tool that automatically reports how your nodes, clusters, and instances are performing, showing things like uh, CPU utilization, error rate, and storage utilization, all in a handy graph form so that at a glance you can see how your systems have been performing. And while having this graph data is great, what's really important is finding the situations where it actually tells you something. Here's a few common use cases that are worth keeping an eye on. As mentioned before, Bigtable works by keeping a set of front-end nodes which are responsible for routing and balancing traffic to the back-end tables. When you create your Bigtable instance, you specify the number of nodes you want, and using the monitoring tool, you can quickly see if it's time to add more nodes. Uh, on our Instances tab, we can take a look at the CPU utilization table, which has a recommended max line. Uh, this line represents the best practices for CPU utilization. And if you eclipse this line for a number of minutes, it's generally a good idea to add more nodes to your cluster. Now, another common performance problem with Bigtable is asymmetric reads and writes on a cluster. Uh, for example, suppose that 25% of your reads are going to a small number of tablets within a cluster, while the rest are spread evenly across the other tablets. When Bigtable detects this happening, it will redistribute the existing tablets so that reads are spread as evenly as possible across the entire cluster. Now, we can detect this pattern in the monitoring tool by keeping an eye on the CPU utilization of the hottest node graph. A lot of air quotes. If the hottest node is frequently above the recommended value, even when your average CPU utilization is reasonable, then you'll need to go back and check your schema design to update your access patterns accordingly. Uh, now, if you want to drill deeper into your schema design challenges, then you might want to take a look at the key visualizer tool, which provides a really fancy heat map visualizer that can help you figure out where your schema design might be going off the rails. But that's a topic for another episode. If you're interested to know more, then check out the article linked in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube Cloud channel for other great Performance Atlas content. Because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.